If you're working in SketchUp or Revit and looking to upload your model to Invis, I just wanted to share some quick tips to ensure that your models look and perform at their best on the Invis platform. Now, Invis is super intuitive. However, just by following these best practices, we can ensure that you'll get the most out of your immersive experience. Firstly, we actually recommend making a saved copy of your file before making any changes for Invis. That way, if you delete any elements or simplify the model at all, you have the original file there to go back to. Next, make sure all your doors are open. In Envis, closed doors act as a physical barrier, meaning you won't be able to walk through them or click through them in a clickable mode. We just ask that you open all your doors or as an easy way, you can actually just hide all the walls together. Our next recommendation is to add a floor plane to your model. Adding a floor plane gives you a navigatable surface to walk around and move around on external to the model. You can keep it nice and simple. It only has to be 20 millimeters is thick. It makes the experience so much better and we highly recommend doing it. Now, Invis has a model size limit. Just make sure your design fits within a 500 meter by 500 meter by 500 meter box. This just ensures that processing is smooth and that there are no errors caused when loading the experience. Next, high polygon counts can slow down performance, especially on mobile. If you have high poly elements such as furniture or plants, we recommend either simplifying them or just removing them altogether from your design. Next, just clean up any unnecessary data. Remove that random piece of furniture or wall that you moved out of sight to the extremity of the design. Anything that's not gonna be seen when inside the walkthrough or you don't want the user to see, just remove it from the design altogether. This will increase performance. Lastly, before exporting, always purge your model. In SketchUp, go to Windows, Model Info, Statistics, and click Purge Unused. In Revit, use Manage, Purge Unused. This helps remove any excess data that's just taking up space. Following these simple steps will ensure that when you bring your model over to Invis that you get the best result possible. Now, if you have any questions at all, please just drop them in the comments below. And I cannot wait to see what you create.